melodic linear motive studies kick off part two of chapter eight's soloing applications. And we begin with uh, what I call melodic triplet progressions. These are, these are classic combinations uh, that you, are, I'm sure, are familiar with if you've heard the playing of Max Roach, Elvin Jones, John Bonham, Steve Gadd. They're fun to play and they sound great. We have three variations that I'll show you in the book on page 128. They're all uh, centered around what you'd see in letter B of each exercise, which is uh, a uh, eighth note triplet subdivision. The first one uses the bass drum on the downbeat, and it sounds like this. Two, three, four. We move over to the second note of the progression for the first inversion, which will start on the tom, the rack tom, like this. One, two, three. inversion starts on the third note of the original triplet, which is on the floor time, puts the bass drum in the middle, sounds like this. Right? So, in triplet form, they sound great, and then they also sound great when you apply them to the duple subdivisions, like the eighth notes, sixteenth notes, and whatever. They then create a hemiola, and the phrase travels over the bar lines. We'll give you a taste of all three right now. Check them out. Some practice tips to remember to uh, get off the page and create more music with this uh, phrasing and these combination would be to uh, create an inverse melodic contour by revoicing uh, the sticking. You could simply reverse the root pattern, which is again by reversing the hands we have. follow from there. The snare drum can be incorporated, you know, uh, etc. You can uh, get a whole different tone color with uh, the coordination of the combinations by, you know, maybe moving to the cymbals and using the left foot instead of the right foot. Uh, other nice colors such as that. Experiment, have fun, and enjoy. <laughs> 